Hi everybody, this is Carla with Cobweb Corner and this is the third edition of uh, my Sampler Sunday series. This is a supplement series to my regular floss tube videos. And in these, I just pick about eight or 10 samplers uh, from my inventory to share with you. A lot of them are older, things you might not have seen or be familiar with, and give you a little bit of uh, information about them. So. Uh, if you haven't joined us before, uh, this is a channel about cross stitch and my whoop, should have turned my phone off. I'm getting notices. Um, and my online cross stitch store. So, uh, welcome. Uh, I've got a few interesting things to share with you today. Um, the first one is called Valentine Sampler and it's by Cross Stitch Country. It's from 1995. And I'll show it to you first. It's a band sampler and <clears throat> read to you what it says on the back. It says samplers are meant to be samples of stitches you have learned. This sampler is no exception. Feel free to change stitches around, incorporate your own favorite stitches. Um, this, stitch, this sampler was inspired by one scene in a museum, the Valentine in Richmond, Virginia. Personally, I think inset number two was the most interesting. I had never seen the stitch before and someone gave me a diagram of the stitch, but the text was written in Italian. When translated, there was no name given to the stitch. After much research, I was unable to find the name of the stitch. Therefore, I am taking the liberty of naming it the eyelet hem stitch because it has elements of both stitches. Have fun stitching the sampler. So I chose this one first because um, I looked up the definition of sampler and obviously from the name it's a sample so when i was going through samplers to show you today and going through my inventory everything i saw was band sampler band sampler band sampler and it wasn't the traditional you know pastoral layout with the alphabet and i'm like what is going on and then i'm like well traditional early early samplers were band samplers were they a band sampler always has the same stitch usually along the band or in more, more modern samples it'll be the same motif so there might be a flower band and then a heart band um, but then these would be rolled up and the um, person who stitched it could then later take it and unroll it and reference it for a sample stitch that they had learned um, so, so many of the ones I'm showing you today are band samplers and then I picked a couple different things. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the next one I want to show you is called Violet Dawn by Gemstone Designs. This is a really pretty pattern. It's got a lot of different stitches and it has some cut thread, um, um, cut thread um, techniques. Um, let's see, the design was stitched on 32 count English rose linen from Witchell using two strands of DMC floss or one of water lilies from the Karin collection. Um, doesn't give any other information, but it does have detailed instructions or detailed diagrams of all the dis different stitches for each band. And it's just a beautiful, well, maybe it doesn't have cut thread. I think I misspoke. I think they're all just stitches. So there's, um, I really like the colors in this one. And band samplers are a great way to learn a new stitch because you do the same stitch over and over. So you practice it. And let's see, did I give a year on that one? This is from 1994. The next one I thought was a little different, and this one does have some um, cut thread techniques. This is The Perfect Pair by Friends in Needlework from, no, oh, it doesn't give a year. Um, and there is a series of these. This one's The Perfect Pair, and then they also have The Blushing Peach, Bountiful Berries, and I think I have both of those in stock. Pineapples, Apples, Strawberries, uh, Red Work Delight, Spring Promise, Summer Blossom. So those are all in the sampler series. So this is a more modern sampler and it says <clears throat> the succulent pear with its mellow taste is the perfect complement to family sharing and love. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is the perfect pear by Friends in Needlework. 
And then pretty much all of my set, uh, episodes are going to contain um, a Rosewood Manor because her samplers are just stunning. And this one is a little bit more modern sampler style called the Irish Chain Quilt Sampler. And it says, may you always walk in sunshine, may you never want for more. May Irish angels rest their wings right beside your door. Isn't that beautiful? And it has quite a few um, specialty stitches in it. And she gives diagrams for those. So it's got Algerian eye, small tripet, triple um, leviathan, um, elongated horizontal and vertical Smyrna cross, um, among others. And it's 68 by 134. And it's stitched with DMC, mostly DMC. And then um, a few, about two or three colors of Weeks Dye Works and one color of um, Karin Water Lilies. And then it does have some Mill Hill beads in it. So this would be a little bit more advanced sampler, but it is just stunning. So that's Irish Chain Quilt Sampler. The next one is a um, older Cricut uh, collection. It's from 1996. And it wasn't designed by Vicki Hastings, who does most of the Cricut collection charts. It's designed by Diane Oldfather. And I have a few of these in stock. They do have a little bit of aging. They're, they're new, um, new old stock from a store that went out of business. And this is called Summer's Morn. And it says, a summer's morn and winter's bed has wondrous colors o'er its spread. The triumph of the sunshine overhead. So... That's that. It's got some beautiful flower sampler motifs. It's not very difficult. So if you've wanted, I have a number of people who have commented it since I started the series that they um, have wanted to try stitching a sampler. And this one is not very difficult. Um, she did write a note. Um, it says, this book was fun to do. I had some wonderful over dyed threads, a lovely, lovely fresh piece of linen, and patterns my hand was itching to put together. The flowers seemed to grow for me as I stitched and the material came alive in my hands. I smiled as I thought how easy it was to control the weeds in the flower bed. A garden is like that in the spring. Winter's bed cries out for plants and seeds. Digging in the fresh earth gives one the same wonderful feelings of satisfaction as, quote, tilling a barren piece of linen with a needle. So many stitchers also love to garden. This may be why. May transplanting these designs to your fabric bring you much pleasure. Happy gardening. Isn't that um, a wonderful way to describe that chart? So that is Summer's Morn. The next one is um, another advanced piece by Jeanette Douglas Designs. And um, I encourage you to look at Jeanette Douglas Douglas's designs. They are absolutely um, amazing detail. This one is called uh, Acorn Stitches. Show it to you first. And let's see what it says. It just says Acorn Stitches in the center with a date. This is from 2006 and it has a large eight acorn um, button or embellishment which is not included with the chart. This has a large number of um, specialty stitches it's got partial road stitch, um, let's see, she doesn't name all of them, mosaic stitch, L stitch, Byzantine stitch, elongated upright cross, um, a knitting stitch body, a tent stitch and cross stitch, and a four-sided stitch, and I think that's it. So. It just describes, so there's no, um, well, there is a layout. So even the border on the top and the bottom is a different stitch. And this one is 127 by 99. And it was stitched with um, Soile d'Agir silks and Trebizond silk and Bijou Tiger's Eye whatever that might be the I don't know if that's a thread or oh, on the button 
is a hand painted acorn button from um, Button and Needlework Boutique. I'm <coughs> sorry, I have no idea if those are if they are still in uh, business or not. I've not heard of those before. The fabric was 32 count exemplar by Lakeside Linens. Um, they also used thread gatherer silks, Gloriana threads, um, and Mill Hill beads and Krynik. Now often Jeanette Douglas will have a floss pack with her designs. I don't know if um, there's one available for this, but if you're interested, you can uh, email me and ask me. Um, the next one is from 2008. It's called Wee Bit Sampler 2. And the saying is, peace does not come with thoughts of anger. And it's a skull, skull house for the needle, S-C-H-O-L-E house, all one word. And this is also a simpler sampler. So if you've wanted to try one, um, you can. It says, uh, we, there's a series of these, uh, we samplers with bits of wisdom, small samplers which are quick to stitch and provide gentle bits of wisdom mixed with bands and motifs from the 17th and 18th century. Models were stitched on 40 count, but can easily be done on any count of linen. Peace does not come with anger includes cross, double running, double back, four-sided, Montengren, Algerian eye, alternating double back and Smyrna cross. Acorns with strawberries mean strength and wisdom. Pansies mean good wishes and good thoughts. And this is by Allison Smith. And the design size, it's only 54 wide by 115 high and it was stitched with um, gentle art sampler threads with a DMC conversion. So that is a possibility. Again, you would learn some um, specialty stitches, but it's not a very large sampler. Plus it has a great saying, peace does not come with thoughts of anger. The next one is a more modern sampler based on um, uh, Dutch sampler work. It's called the Blue Delft Sampler by Joan Elliott. And Joan Elliott is another designer, if you haven't checked her out, that has some an amazing variety of um, different types of charts. And this one is just beautiful. It's got your um, ornate alphabet and then another uh, a number of scenes from kind of Dutch and then it has the word welcome. And these four panels could be stitched alone. So she doesn't give any um, information about the background of this sampler, but it's um, 115 wide by 269 high. Um, and it was stitched on, if you stitch it on 28 over two or 14 over one, it will be eight by 19 inches high. Yeah, let's see, she says it is stitched all with DMC floss, about nine different colors of floss. And she does not give what, she just says she used 14 count uh, fabric, but she doesn't say what kind. I would, it looks like just an ivory, but that is just really beautiful. And very different from the more traditional samplers, American samplers and English samplers we're used to. The last one I have to show you is a 2020 release by Blackbird, Des Blackbird Designs and it's called oh, oh Joyous Day. And this is more what, when I think of a sampler, um, what I think of. And uh, so I was thinking about that a little bit. Um, this one is done all in cross stitch, I, I think. I'll check in here in a second. But it does is a sampler in that it has a variety of motifs. So um, it's still a sampling of different things. Um, and this one is, let's see, does it say, it just has the alphabet. It doesn't, and it does have a small old joyous day above the house. And this one has a really nice write up. And it was based on the original sampler. So many of the flowers, so if you look here at these flowers, so this is quite different, the center part, but the flower motifs are all repeated here from that original. It says, our inspiration, this exquisite English sampler was stitched by Anne Dunn in 1761. Although there is considerable linen loss around the borders, the true beauty of this piece shines through. 
And then um, this was uh, designed and stitched by Alma Allen. And she says, as I stitched this sampler, my youngest son was on my mind. The riot of flowers and the bright colors made me think of his approaching wedding day, which was right around the corner. We love the woman he married and we are so glad she's become part of our family. This sampler stitched with so much love was made for them. Celebrate your family with this piece. Just change the initials and date. So where are the initials and date? Um, oh, right here. So this is the initials, the two people got married and then there's a date right there. Isn't that beautiful? So that's it for this episode of Sampler Sunday. Let me know what you think. Um, I am gonna try to have some different varieties of samplers. I'll pull some modern and then I'm gonna have a Halloween and a Christmas sampler episode, friendship samplers, different things like that. So we have that to look forward to. Thanks a lot everybody and happy stitching.